I work on prion diseases, which is infectious, so unlike most of the diseases that this conference cover. And uh, I am in particular interested in epigenetics, so which is the effect of the environment, whether it's external environment or your own environment, on how you express your genes. And so we're trying to make these two uh, work together. So how does epigenetic work in prion disease? It's very important we look at that because in cancer, epigenetic studies have given rise to epigenetic inhibitors or small molecule drugs that are currently treating patients with cancer. And my really personal hope is that we could potentially arrive to at the same situation in neurodegeneration. So I use prion diseases as a model, but I hope, and a lot of the work presented here in the conference also highlight the role of epigenetic in other neurogenetic diseases. So Mark, the most exciting stuff that we currently have in the shop is a single cell experiment in an animal model of prion disease. It's completely unpublished and uh, we're currently looking at the data, but it looks like we might be able to uncover a very, very early stage in the disease that so far had not been picked up by alternative methods. So stay tuned for that, um, but that's probably the most exciting stuff that we have so far.